I'm Juan Martinez, I'm Senior Product Manager for NXCAM Cameras, and I'm going to talk about the FS700. We developed the camera to be uh, very, it can be rigged uh, very simply as a um, in many different configurations. It's a build-up architecture. Everything comes out. And here's, a, here's the hand grip, for example. It has an ARRI compatible rosette. So this camera is directly compatible with uh, a lot of Cine accessories. It is possible, for example, to relocate the handle forward and lower by just adding an extension to the, uh, using ARRI as, uh, extensions for the hand grip. The hand grip is a multifunction hand grip. It offers four times and eight times magnification, so when you're focusing, and it, uh, the, it allows us to, uh, we have a window on the viewfinder, and you can pan and scan, you can select which area you're magnifying, and you can always go back to it. It also offers uh, the ability to capture still images or the momentary iris, so you don't have to look away from the camera or um, to to be able to uh, find uh, the uh, proper exposure of the iris opening. Of course, you can manually control it. All of the iris and um, ISOs and uh, shutter angle is all displayed on the viewfinder. It could be angle or time. In this case, the uh, shutter has been displayed as time but it could be in degrees as well. And you see the lens information. This is also captured as metadata with a file. And you can see this later when you review the file in the viewfinder, or it can be read by the uh, Sony software. The camera can record internally, uh, as I mentioned before, as uh, ABC HD uh, 420, 8-bit. Uh, this is a codec that is widely misunderstood. It is actually capable of very high quality. In the case of MPEG codecs, What's the, bit rate? the bit rate is all the way to 28 megabits per second is a maximum bit rate. But when one talks about MPEG, one should not consider the bit rate or these things alone because the important thing about MPEG is that the encoding algorithm is never defined. So you have two cameras from two different manufacturers. You may have a, let's say, Canon or... or or uh, Panasonic, or the ABCHD camera, the encoding algorithm is completely different. And it's the, the, the definition of the encoding algorithm is that it has to be able to produce a stream that can be decoded by the standard decoder. And the standard decoder is deterministic. So the, if you come up with a brilliant compression algorithm, and uh, as long as you can tell the decoder how to decode it, and they can do it, uh, it works. So it's not 24 megabit from Sony is not the same as 24 big from our competitors. It all depends on how powerful your encoding uh, uh, engine is, how many mega flops, how many cores, It also on uh, how clever the compression algorithm is. So that's uh, something that one should consider. And I invite you and uh, anyone that is at NAB to go to N101 every hour on the half hour it's a real shot with the uh, FS700. At this point, uh, we're using uh, the 4K sensor and we're uh, downscaling it to produce HD images that have very fine detail and image texture. So we're not binning the pixels. We're actually using all the information to produce uh, a very beautiful images that don't need, require any electronic uh, enhancement to make them look sharper. These are sharp in the good sense of the word. And uh, we are not ready yet to talk about this, uh, but we will offer a recorder, Sony will offer a record, an optional recorder that will be able to capture the 4K stream from the camera using the same 3G SDSDI connector. Uh, so this doubles as a high-speed data port, and this will be recorded uh, onto uh, this machine and there'll be a workflow. I, I cannot tell you exact time frame. It might be a few months from now. So imagine that this, uh, the back end of this camera is pretty much like an FS100 that has been hot rodded. So this has cine gammas. Uh, it has uh, greater creative control. We've added a lot of functionality. You have uh, up to 99 um, camera profiles. That means if you can reconfigure any of the buttons, all the menu settings, all the picture profiles, if you change the gammas, 
or you can cha change any of the parameters of the camera that is stored in up to 99 of these profiles. The camera offers a very advanced processing. It's a 3D LUT. It's not RGB like many other cameras. You can go in the picture profiles and you can do color corrections. You can do green to magenta. So if you like the skin tones to be a little bit more beautiful, it's very simple. And you just touch that. It doesn't affect any other color. Everything looks perfect. You can change the balance of red, green, uh, uh, yellow, cyan, magenta, any of those colors, and you can move it without affecting any of the complementary colors. So you, it's a very, very powerful system. No S-Log. It has only this four cinegammas. So when 4K 12-bit uh, is available, then you can select whatever curve you like to develop when you develop the footage.